in Sweden. It's based on a Swedish uh, folklore. It has a very distinct dark atmosphere. Uh, you run around in the woods all by yourself and uh, your only companion is the crunching sound of snow and the howling wind. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the iteration process with the music. Uh, Simogo came to me with a, a long list of uh, inspirational tracks that they have been inspired by when they wrote the game. and. Um, was also very close to what they wanted uh, the atmosphere to be like. So I listened to that and I mixed it with uh, some Swedish uh, folk music, uh, my own, own style. And I, I like to use a lot of different kinds of in instruments to uh, show different emotions. Uh, it could be live instruments, electronic, or toys, or whatever. I, whatever I find. So uh, for a lot of these, the pace of this game was really slow. So it was very hard to for me to, to write music for it. So I, I usually started out with something really extreme and then tried it and it didn't work and I had to make it over and make it over until it fit. So this is one of the most more extreme examples of the track. Uh, it's a, it starts out kind of intense, so don't be scared. We, this game was so slow that every little movement you would make, uh, you would notice. So having music like this didn't work at all. But we, we really liked the, the melody and the sound. It had the atmosphere we wanted. So uh, I made another iteration. It was it's much slower. Still, this was way too intense for the game. And it felt <laughs> like it was just tucked on. And, uh, so what I did was uh, I pitched down the melody one octave, uh, and I played it without any tempo at all, just to create a more natural flow in it. Um, so it sounded like the next track. So that work worked really well. The, the melody is kind of flowing like the wind or like someone breathing. So I, I found this approach kind of interesting because that's the same process you go through when you develop a game. You create something, 
and try it, and then you go back and you change it, try it, go back and change it. And I, I thought um, this made the music work really well with the game, so that could be a good tip if you don't, <laughs> because your music doesn't work. Yeah, that's my whole presentation. I'm playing uh, live on Sabako on Sunday if anyone's interested. So that will be from the upcoming game, Device 6. So thank you very much.